back uh, as long as you can. Do you, do you, I mean, when was the last time outside of a hurricane environment that we saw an, uh, an oil rig go under? The situation that we have in Louisiana, in Florida, in Alabama, in Mississippi is fucked as hell. On April 20th, 2010, a wellhead blowout caused an explosion on the Deepwater Horizon offshore drilling rig. The blast killed 11 men and injured 17 others. Two days later, it capsized and sank in 5,000 feet of water, leaving its broken wellhead gushing oil into the Gulf of Mexico. An estimated 4.9 million barrels of oil leaked out before the well was finally capped in July. In a move to dilute the oil before it washed ashore, BP applied nearly 2 million barrels of the chemical dispersant corrects it. Although the spill has been contained, the long-term environmental impacts of the disaster are still unknown. The saga that played out for nearly three months, otherwise known as the BP oil spill, unleashed the worst man-made environmental disaster in American history. The oil spill has threatened fragile ecosystems and endangered wildlife while simultaneously disrupting the fishing and tourism industries along the Gulf Coast. The deep water horizon explosion began an environmental, human, and economic disaster. Two months after the Deepwater Horizon sank, I decided to document the BP oil spill. In the summer of 2010, I traveled along the Gulf Coast twice to document how the spill was affecting the environment, economy, and emotional well-being of residents. That's what's on the beaches and at the bottom of the ocean right now. For the first trip to the Gulf, I was joined by Bill Powell. He assisted with interviews and filming. We traveled from Florida's Emerald Coast to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, in New Orleans, Louisiana. And for the second trip, musician James Morris helped me film in Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Grand Isle, Louisiana. Over the two trips, we talked to university professors, wildlife specialists, businessmen, a city councilman, and local residents alike. I decided to investigate the environmental and human impacts, review what went wrong on the Deepwater Horizon, explore the government's role in regulation, and examine BP's culture of safety. This is what I found. 